Other breaking news tonight. A contentious election ends with a landslide victory for the incumbent. Ken Moore will remain the mayor of Franklin after he defeated controversial challenger Gabrielle Hansen by nearly 10,000 votes. This small town mayoral election has made national headlines, mostly thanks to Hansen. She's had a string of controversies from anti-LGBTQ comments to alleged connections with white nationalists. News 2's Adam Mincer spent the day in Franklin speaking to several voters today. He brings everybody together, all religions, all beliefs, all people, all and, color. And he's, a, he's just a good man. He really is. He's a good egg. Despite the national attention on Franklin mayoral candidate Gabrielle Hansen, voters say they want to keep Mayor Ken Moore in office and continue the direction Franklin is going in. I think he's done a phenomenal job so far in terms of managing the growth and uh, is incentivizing a lot of companies like In-N-Out Burger and others to come into the city. After more than an hour downtown and speaking to dozens of people, no Hansen voters agreed to talk on camera. But voters said they are aware of Hansen's controversial comments. Very opinionated people in voting, talking about it. Um, just a lot of, I don't want to say drama, but kind of at the same time going on, especially online. And I've heard a lot of the things that she's commented on and talking about the, the school shooting and other things, and it just seems a little bit off for me. Some saying Hanson's positions reflect something larger than just Franklin politics. Well, I think it's all over the country. I don't think it's just Franklin. I think it's, and, and it's maybe more so here because, you know, people are conservative, just, you know, and uh, there, there's, yeah. there's disruption, you know, in, it's a great city and, and they're trying to disrupt what we've got here. Adam spoke to Ken Moore before the results. He said he is looking forward to quieter, more productive meetings in the future. We tried to attend Gabrielle Hansen's election night event, but we saw signs saying private event in the hotel lobby and were told no media was allowed in.